Hey guys, so I kind of just wanted an excuse to do like a little video for you guys. So I decided to do my favorites. I'm gonna call them January favorites. I'm not, I don't know if these are specifically my favorite in January. I think these are more the winter favorites, but they're not specifically winter products. They're just what I've been liking this season because I don't really do it by months anymore. I've never really done it by months. So anyways, this is a favorites video. I don't know. Anyway, so there's just a couple of products that I've been using a lot lately, and by I mean a lot, I mean every day, and I don't really use anything else. Uh, I'm the kind of person where when I find something, I really like it, and then I'll just keep on using it, and then I'll find something else I like, and I'll totally forget about that other product until like six months later, and then I'll find it and love it again. So everything I have here is actually pretty, only like two products are new, but anyways, they're all cosmetic related. I tried finding other things that I liked, uh, favored recently, like clothing or hair stuff or anything else, but I couldn't really find anything, so I don't know. Anyways, so uh, one of my favorites right now is the Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation, and I had this for a really long time, like this is like my second or third bottle. Um, one of my favorite foundations in general, and I can't even say that this is amazing for winter because this is amazing all year round. If you're the kind of person that doesn't like a lot of um, like too much coverage or too heavy, um, you just want something light, something to just even out your skin tone, but you don't really care if you still see spots or anything like that, I definitely recommend this. This uh, formula, the texture is amazing. I think they have more colors now, so I think the, co the color range is better, but my color is 34. This is a little bit dark for me now, but uh, because it's so thin um, and so easy, easy to work with, it kind of works for me all year round. I never have to change up like a winter or a summer thing. And it's great for winter right now just because like I just hate the feeling of it really being really heavy or I don't know. I guess I can't really say it's different for winter, but I just prefer it all year round. It's kind of my go-to if I really, I mean other than special occasions where I want a lot more coverage or just look very, very, very smooth and even, I'll use something heavier. But when it comes to every day, definitely this one. I got my brother's fiance hooked on this foundation. So um, I definitely recommend it. And it has the pump and it's just a lot easier. So um, Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation in number 34. Um, and yeah, I'm actually wearing it now. And well, it could just be the camera. But I mean, it looks cool. <laughs> um, next, this is like a super all time favorite. I've actually had it for a while, but I didn't start using it more recently till now. And it's the Stila Convertible Color, which is basically a gel um, cheek and lip product. And the number, sorry, the color is in um, Camila. Can't, uh, <laughs> number one. And I think I got this from iMats a long time ago, but this is the color. Um, it's like a dark, uh, a very dark peach. Uh, it's a little bit rosy, not too much, but this is what it looks like if you apply it on heavily. And this can be used on your cheeks or your lips. I use it mostly for cheeks and I'm just gonna, oops, sorry, blend it out a little. And yeah, basically I'm also wearing this now. I wear it every day. It's just, um, because it's a little bit darker, I find it works really, really, really great for, ugh, sorry, for winter. <laughs> And um, it sticks really well, it blends really well. I use my fingers and I just use it as the base and I blend it out on my cheeks. And I usually put a powder on top of it just so it won't slide, but I'll use something light and something that looks similar because I still want that glow. Because it gives a nice glow, but not like, oh, I'm summery and bronzy and whatnot. So, and it just lasts a long time on my skin. This is like the only thing where I'll notice my blush is still on like hours after. So um, I have another color from this product, but I don't remember it and I don't love it as much. I just like how deep this color is without being obviously too dark. And it's and I love anything in like the peach range. So this is a big, big favorite for me. And obviously it's really fast um, and you can put on your lips too and then it matches and you don't have to worry if frost about colors. And yeah, um, next is a lipstick and this is just a MAC lipstick and this is in Mocha. So it's like literally a mocha color. And it's kind of weird that I love this so much because I didn't love it. I mean, I liked it when I first bought it and that was like in the summer, but I like it more now. Um, I have a bajillion lipsticks that look like this color. Like everyone has that one color. When their friends look through their makeup, they're like, why do you have so many of that one color? You're wasting money. But it's not all the same. It's always different shades and finishes. And you know, like you know why you buy all of them. But this is just another example, but this is a darker version, kind of like 
my version for this blush. It just works better for winter. I still get my nudish, um, peach-based, everyday color, but it works a little bit for winter. And you wear it every day. I don't have to fuss with it. No lip liner. This is my go-to. I leave this by the door for when I want to apply. And uh, yeah, I'm actually wearing it now because, again, these are things that I just wear every day. Um, this one's not really a favorite, I just kind of grabbed it with it, with the lipstick, but I've been using baby lips again. I bought the non-colored one, and it's just good. It's just good to have in your purse. It works well. It's not, you know, overly greasy or, you know, whatever. It's just a, it's a good lip balm just to have, have with, and it works well under all my lipsticks. Uh, some lip balms are too greasy, and I have to wait for it to dry a little bit. This one is just great for travel and to have in my purse, and it's usually always on sale. And okay, this last product is amazing and it's only a sample version. Um, Sephora, when your birthday and you go and you pick up that little gift, I the benefit, uh, it was like a benefit one, and I got a sample, a deluxe sample of the Their Real Mascara. Um, this has been out for a while though, and I think like a face or brow highlighter. And I've heard a lot about this mascara and I heard a lot of people liked it, but uh, I like benefit mascaras. I like a lot of mascaras, but I'm never. I've never really been like, oh my god, this mascara is amazing. Ah, uh, so, uh, but this one totally changed my perspective. Like, I've been using this every day and I need to buy the full size version. But it is like 35 bucks Canadian. And for mascara, it is a little bit steep, but this stuff is amazing. So, like, I will try to. I don't know if you can really see, but my eyelashes don't normally look like this. I find, I did curl them, um, but usually if I curl my lashes with like the MAC Falsies mascara, or I think even like one of the Dior ones I really like, it does not come out like this. Like I was so surprised. My friend who has uh, naturally beautiful long curly lashes didn't um, curl them or anything, and she used it too, and it just, it made her look like she was wearing false eyelashes, and I was so jealous. But I mean, for my stumpy little, actually my lashes aren't that stumpy. They're just, they just stick out really straight. But this one, it holds the curl really well and it just makes it look longer and thicker. And I will show you the brush. So it's a plastic brush with the little, um, very thin bristly ends. And I usually don't like mascara brushes like that. Like anything with the plastic brush, I don't really like. I like going old school with the, you know, the soft bristle brushes, but this is amazing. Like I cannot, you know, say anymore how amazing this mascara is. So I'm hoping to buy the full size one really soon because this is gonna start running out and getting old. So yeah, so that's basically my favorite. I can't really think of anything else. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.